The Acolyte on Disney. Oh, shit. So we're going to get a dark side user's perspective. That is so badass. Let's be using the Force to sense where the Jedi is in this episode. Some kind of connection. Oh, no. Actually, she's just paying someone to tell her where the Jedi is. Okay. Well, maybe the Jedi knows that she's coming because she can also feel the dark side. Oh, man. Zero for two. Okay. Well, the Jedi didn't recognize she's coming with uh, deadly intent. Okay. Well, surely the Jedi's going to do what's right. And if she does start harming people then at least she'll step up and defend her friends. Hey oh, there she is. Now she's stepping in after everyone's probably dislocated a spine, dead a little bit, you know. Okay, whatever. Okay, I get it. She's an acolyte, so she must have to take down this Jedi without using any weapons. Except for the daggers that she has and the sneak attack right here. Um, I don't know how to explain any of that. I thought that if you were a Jedi, especially a woman Jedi, and you were stabbed with a lightsaber, you'd live. So a little dagger, come on. It's not even close to the heart, really. I mean, you got a hard bone right there. What's really funny is this movie is supposed to be a crime thriller. Like, oh, who did it? We already know who did it. She's right there. Oh, I get it. So she's an acolyte, but she's trying to blend in with society. Okay. So she's here fixing the ship. Oh, no, that's actually not her. That's her twin sister with the exact same hairdo, more or less. One's longer than the other. You do got to love the world of Star Wars, especially in the vacuum of space. Look at this beautiful ship. Oh, you look at that. There's a fire. Fire in space. My goodness, that is interesting to say the least, I guess. Good. Life. Excellent. I see fire. Oh no, it's the Jedi breeding more Sith. I'd probably put her out of her misery right now, maybe? No? Okay. Gotcha. To catch you up to this point, the ship is crashing. She was a prisoner on, and she puts on these two buckles and does the airplane mover of covering your neck. You know, the, the one where they go, oh yeah, you'll definitely die if you do this in an airplane. Yeah, she's doing it and landing on a planet, so I guess we're safe on an airplane. Well, I guess you better call Saul because uh, you sent droids to do a Jedi's job. You lost the damn potentially murderer. And now you have to go fetch her again. Oh, yep. She's alive. Okay, cool. That was the first episode of Acolyte. 